Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, Contract Math, Section 6.6, 2014 edition, Discounts and Markups Activity. Pause while you write Section 6.6, 2014 Activity in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's activity objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is find discounts and selling prices using a percent bar model. Copy the following key terms, definitions, and examples exactly as they appear into your notebook. A discount is a decrease in the original price of an item. Be sure to copy the definition and also copy this example. A markup is the increase from what a store pays to the selling price. There's also an example to go along with that definition. Today we'll be working on page 133 in your record and practice journal. Activity 1, we are comparing discounts. The same pair of sneakers is on sale at three stores. Which one is the best buy? And we have to explain our answer. Store A, the regular price is $45 and they're offering the sneakers at 40% off. Store B, the regular price is $49 and they're offering the sneakers at 50% off. And store C, the regular price is $39, and they're offering the sneakers at up to 70% off. So let's look at store A, and we're going to use this bar model to show us how much we save. So we need to chunk our discount into 10%, so we draw in each 10% chunk. So 10% and 20% and 30% and 40% gets us to saving $18. So $45 minus $18 has us spending a total of $27 on the sneakers at store a. So we saved $18 and we spent, or we would spent, spend $27. In store B, we're going to do the same thing. Our regular price is $49 and we're going to color in five chunks because we're saving 50% off. So there's 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, and 50%, which gets us to a total of $27, is, is how much we save. So then we need to subtract that from the regular price, so 40, $49 minus $27 gives us what, we're, what we would be spending, which would be $22. So we know out of the two we've compared that store B is the better out of those two. And then we need to look at store C. So the regular price is $39 and we need to color in seven chunks because we would be saving up to 70 percent. There's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. But we have to be careful with this language. It says up to 70 percent. It doesn't say 70 percent. So we could only be saving 10 percent or 20 percent. So we don't really know how much we would be saving. If we saved the entire 70%, we would be saving $27.30. So your job for homework is to go back up to the top here and to try your best to answer which one is the best buy and explain your answer. Your assignment for this lesson is to give a well-reasoned answer to the question in Activity 1 on page 133 of your Record and Practice Journal. 
you should be thinking about things like how much should the discount be for store C to have the best deal. Be prepared to share during our next class. Remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you need to complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any questions you have for your teacher, and of course, have a good attitude.